Hello everyone, we are group 12 from lecture 3, introducing our product shelter. Students are forced to purchase multiple types of calculators such as financial, basic, and scientific for different course requirements leading to unnecessary costs. For both teachers and students, the exam process becomes complex and inefficient. On the first day of school, students pick up their shelter. Their unique student ID and photo will be downloaded onto the device. From there, they can download their course-specific calculator functions. On exam day, their shelter will be scanned by a master device using NFC technology to run a diagnostic, install the approved calculator program and Scantron sheet, and the student will be given their randomized seat. Once time is up on the exam, answers are submitted and marked against the key. Our solution eliminates the need for manual ID checking and the entire inefficient Scantron process for the instructor. The shelter is an integrative technology that streamlines the exam system while reducing the student budget in the long run. Our competitor, Texas Instruments, is expensive and not allowed in most university classrooms. Casio does not have a significant edge in any category and Desmos is only able to function on Wi-Fi, which brings up academic integrity concerns. Our unfair advantage is disrupting the monopoly that Texas Instruments has over calculator technology. Up until now, Texas Instruments has failed to innovate whatsoever, making the company stagnant. Shelter has contacts with IT professionals from uh, businesses and also from academic resources, as well as the Husking School of Business staff and students. Our target customers are Canadian universities who have a business program and are looking towards the future of technology as subsequent workplace requirements. Their user of a product will be first-year business students at these universities, and they will also be the buyers as they have to purchase shelter through tuition costs. And a trend with these students is that they're used to technological advancements as they can adapt to Shelter rather quickly. The channels we're going to use to market Shelter and gain popularity are through our social media and company website. We are also going to use our own connection and the available means provided by the Haskins School of Business as we are business students to work to get partnerships and expand to other Canadian business schools. Our validation comes from a second year business student who said he had to buy multiple calculators. Advisor Peter from week eight said that if we don't follow up with this idea, he will. And the associate dean of the Haskins School of Business said this will be a great product to help with academic integrity. To sum up our revenue streams, we are following a B2B model. The first portion of our model being transactional revenues. These are generated from the calculator sales and the other portion is recurring revenues. These revenues are going to be incurred when we develop new calculator programs and sell them to the students online. Cut. The cost structure for shelter for the first year of operations, 17% of the total costs needed are gonna be dedicated to startup costs. This will allow shelter to hit the ground running. The remaining 83% of the total costs needed are for operating costs. Uh, these costs are higher than the startup costs because of the need for research and development funds for the first six months of the fiscal year. The three key metrics we've identified for shelter, the first being developing a minimum viable product, second being developing a partnership with a business school, and third being applying for the patent process. We are asking for $95,000 in order to fund research and development needed for shelter in order to perfect our product through development and testing. Be a part of the solution that adds up.